We barely made it here. Just like that, it's Mr. Pit into the clown. Well, this is the trail to Schooner Head Overlook. About five minute walk from the parking lot. Let's continue on to see if the sun come out of the clown. You can see that we had a little pick up this morning when the sun rise. So. Let's see, let me get a little bit dangerous out here. See, if I got here a little bit earlier, I should be down here and it'd be perfect. I guess the sun is gonna pick out a little bit here soon. But anyway, let me do a 180 for you here. Nothing like a fresh sea air in the morning. Anyway, we got a lot to cover today. Cause in the weather uh, forecast it's gonna be raining tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to cover as much as as many as I can today. All right. Let's head back to the parking lot. It's gonna be a hard hike going back up. 
Okay, we at the sand beach. So you can see the red. That's the park loop road. So you get to see a lot of stuff here. It's gonna be a lot of stop and go. And here are the pictures of the beach. We're gonna go out and take a look at the beach. It is a very short walk to the stair that heading down to the beach. Ooh, a little bit chilly out here. Very short walk. You want to come out, hang out on the beach? This is the place to be, Sand Beach. Can't do 360 here, so I'm just gonna give you a 180 of Sand Beach. All right, next stop is Thunder Hole. Let's get to it. So this is Park Road uh, Loop, Park Loop. So you have to be careful driving here. You can see there was a car parking on the right. It's allowed. Sometimes people want to stop and look at the left over here. But we are going to the Thunder Hole, so. All right, I see you there when we get to Thunder Hole. If you wanna be, have this whole place to yourself, get here early in the morning. Right now it's not even seven yet, so. You can see plenty of, uh, you can park and go see real quick and then get right back on. Let's go see the Thunder Hole. It's just a sock uh, walk downstairs from the road there. And this is a Thunder Hole. I don't see no thunder. <laughs> Pretty sad. That's no thunder right there. Ooh, it stink. I guess the water trap here, so it's really stinking here. I guess when the high tide, that's when you're gonna see thunder. Right now it's not, it's low tide, so. Ooh, it really stink here, man. This is as far as I can get. All right, let's do a 180, shall we? Ooh, the sun is in the face. There you have it. Actually, I can do a 360 with this. No, I'm not kidding. It's stink here. All right, let's move on to the next one. So next up is this uh, Gore, Goreham Mountain Trailhead, which you want to hike. But we are going to go to Boulder Beach here. Yeah, if you're going to do a lot of stop and go, I wouldn't uh, shut up the engine. I would take an extra key, lock it up, and then walk down real quick for a couple minutes and come right back up. So that's what I'm going to do at the Boulder Beach. All right. Well, I miss the parking lot somewhere over here. Where am I at? So I missed the parking lot to Boulder Beach right here. Now I'm in over here. So I'm parking right here to go down to Otter Cliff Overlook and then probably hide back to the Boulder Beach. All right, let's go. I guess this is Otter Cliff. There's a little trail. I'm gonna hike back into uh, Boulder Beach over there, which I miss. Yeah, this is uh, Otter Cliff. So here is a trail, a little bit rocky, but not too bad. Not too uh, steep. So instead of stop, every other stop, I'll probably stop right in the middle and hike to the other one. Get in some exercise, right? All right, I see you when I get to the Boulder Beach. All right, it was not a 
a lot of hiking, but Motor Beach should be down there. So I can hear the wave beating on the beach. So we gotta find out how to get down there. I think this is it. Boulder Beach. Instead of sand, we got boulder. I don't think you can get down there. So you actually still have to hike down here anyway. I don't know how she got down there. All right, let's go. Let's find our way down there. All right. Okay. In order to get down here, we gotta go this way. A little bit of rock climbing, but that's okay. All right. Let's do a 360 from the Boulder Beach. So you don't have to come out here yourself. Ooh, the sun. So bright. Let's see, I don't fall myself here. Ooh. Try to balance on these rocks is hard. So the trail is up there. I don't know. That's the only way I can see to come down. Maybe there's an easier way that way. Okay, we are at Little Hunter Beach. There's a little trail right there. So we're gonna hike down and take a look at it and really quick and come right back up. All right, here's the cop in the cove. You can stop and watch it. The beach is right there. Yeah, we're not going down there. It's a little bit chilly. So we're gonna keep on going, all right? You can hike down every you want. So this is Jordan Pond How? So you have to make reservation to eat here. So I'm just gonna do a loop, come back out. I'm gonna go to, to the hiker, hiking trailhead. So between May and October, you need a, a pass in order to go up, drive up to Cadillac Mountain. I don't, so we're just gonna drive around a little bit here. Okay, we are gonna go hike to Jordan Pond. It's not a very far walk from the parking lot. I park a little bit off. See, that's the Jordan Pond uh, restaurant right there. All right, let's head down to the pond. Let's see what we got down here. Man, it smells so good, the breakfast from that restaurant. <laughs> but I got my own food, so I'm not gonna spend money here. Plus, you, you need reservation too to eat there. I was just gonna come down here for a really quick hike, but there is a bubble rock, which you need to hike along this uh, pond here to get to it. Literally, the, almost the whole pond. So You can hike all the way around the pond, there's trail for it, but I'm just gonna go to the, to the bubble rock, and then uh, head back. Here's a quick view of uh, the pond. Let's press on. If hiking is your passion, this is a place to be in Acadia uh, National Park. There's thousands and thousands of miles of path like this. It's not too strenuous. I mean, it's almost like flat here. Yeah, I'm halfway there to the bubble rock. Uh, I'm having deciding whether I should double back or loop around to another location. 
you could drive near your car near to uh, the trailhead to Bubble Rock, or you can hike from where the beginning of the Jordan Pond trailhead to it. But then you gotta double back. Okay, I take that back. This is way going up to Bubble Rock. So the trail split up three way here. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. All right, so if you have bad knee and you're not physically fit, this is not the trail for you. <laughs> you can see they mark all the blue dot, so you know where you're going. I think it's probably better if you drive to the nearest trailhead and then go for it. But I don't think I'm coming back out this way. Okay, this is crazy. I start from over there hiking all the way. And I had to scale this rock to get up here. And I'm halfway there to the bubble rock. Woo, my lordy. Okay, it might be windy. I think I am at the very highest top of this hill here. Compared to everything else. So hopefully it's downhill from here. Pretty cloudy day. I hope it doesn't rain. Oh well, I picked the hardest trail to go. <laughs> all right, I see you when I get to the rock. So I hiked all over two hours, scaling all kind of rock for this rock. <laughs> all right, bubble rock check. Yeah. Down there is Park uh, Loop Road, and this is the bubble rock hanging in the middle, right at the edge of the cliff. Let me see if I can get a different angle. Oh, by the way, there's another lake over there. I came from that lake over there. Okay, we had a cliff. And this rock is sitting up. <laughs> it could be dropping off at any time of the day. There's a different angle of the rock. Of a rock. So I'm descending a different route instead of go back the one I scale back up. This is a little bit easier, a little bit longer, but it's easier. I probably will take the park loop road back and probably walk against the traffic. But it's probably it's, it's a longer distance, but it's easier. <laughs> All right, I see you on the road. So the trailhead from this parking lot is much easier than the one I'm from much less less uh, slopey yeah I'm gonna walk on the road back even though it's long but it's much easier whoo I got back to my place yeah parking is very crazy at this hour it's 10 30 now so get here early in the morning six seven that way nobody's here yet I got here I barely have about maybe 20 car so I don't even know where my I park my standards. So I finally got back to my van. I eat lunch, and then I drive out to this. Uh, it's called Wyan Garden of Arcadia. So I'm gonna explore this now. I think I'm gonna keep this a separate video because uh, the bubble rock alone is picked quite a bit so I think the public rock will be by itself all right let's go explore this uh, there's two different uh, things here I'll take you along all right let's go